Arena Sabalenka versus Jesse Pagula is a final for the US Open for the ladies for 2024. Both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Pagula entered the tournament as the number six seed and will take on Rogers in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, six, 6-3. Six, in the second round, she'll take on Kennan, who had just beaten Rodokanu in three sets in the first round. And over a close first set, will get through in straights. 7-6, six, 6-3. Six, Third round, she'll take on Monero. But again, no problem for Pagula getting through in straights. 6-3, six, 6-3. Three, six, three. In the fourth round, she'll take on Schneider, the 18th seed, who's been playing really good over the last few months. But again, no problem for Pagula getting through in straights. 6-4, six, 6-2. Six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Pagula would take on Sviontek, the number one seed and the champion from two years ago. And after a fast start, Pagula would get through in straights, 6-2, 6-4, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Pagula would take on Mukova, who was unseeded for the tournament, but did make last year's semifinal of the US Open and also hadn't lost a set for the week. And after going down a set and a break, Pagula would fight back to win, 1-6, 6-4, 6-2, to advance to her first Grand Slam final. Sabalenka into the tournament as the number two seed and would take on Hon in the first round. There was no problem getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-3. In the second round, she take on Bronzetti, but again, no problems getting through in straights. 6-3, six, 6-1. Six, in the third round, she take on the 29 seed Elegant Drover, a player who had beaten her a few times before in previous meetings. And this was a battle. After dropping the first set, she would fight back to win. 2-6, six, 6-1, six, 6-2. Six, in the fourth round, she take on Mertens, who had just beaten Madison Keys in the previous rounds. No problem for Sabalenka getting through in straights. 6-2, six, 6-4 six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on Jung, the seventh seed, who had just won the Olympic gold medal a couple of months ago. There was no problem for Sabalenka getting through in straights. 6-1, six, 6-2 six, to advance to the semifinals. In the Semi-finals, Sabalenka would take on Navarro, the 13th seed, who'd beaten Goff and Bedosa along the way. And after a close second set, Sabalenka would win in straights, 6-3, 7-6, to advance to the final again. These two have played seven times before, with Sabalenka leading 5-2 in their head-to-head, -head, including a match in Cincinnati a couple of weeks ago, where Sabalenka destroyed Pagula. It was a close straight set, but Sabalenka was almost untouchable on serve, so Pagula really didn't have much chance once she got broken. So let's see, on the slower courts, they're not super slow, but they are slower than Cincy. Let's see if Pagula can actually do something here on the Sabalenka serve and Turns. If Pagula's going to win this one, she needs to get the serves back. The courts were much quicker, of course, in Cincy, so there was a bit of an excuse, I guess, because Sabalenka was just absolutely smashing the ball. But this time around, she should be able to get the ball back more, and she needs to do that a lot. Hustle as well, just like we saw against Mukova. She's going to have to do that a lot and defend like crazy if she's going to be a chance. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she needs to serve well and limit the errors. There was a lot of errors towards the end of the second set, which allowed Navarro back into the match, so she needs to eliminate those if she's going to win her third Grand Slam. So here we go. Here's the rematch of Cincinnati. Pagula Pagula Sabalenka, this is in front of the New York crowd. Pagula's home crowd, but I think Sabalenka's gonna get it done in three sets. Pagula's had a great tournament. First Grand Slam final, she deserves it, but I think Sabalenka's gonna win her third slam. She just looks so good this week. She's looked so good in the last couple of weeks, but let me know down in the comments below who's winning the title.